Hello and welcome to Ivory Library. I'm Ivy or Ivy May and today we're just going to document my day because why not? I love daily vlogs, they're my favourite thing to watch so we're going to film one together. Think we? Yeah. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it but I did get my fourths and my fifths done which was like yay because I was like I went and I got new tattoos recently so I got my second start of the ride and straight home till morning and then I got my grandpa's writing here in a little sentence but I was like I need body modifications and I mean like it's not body mods not new to me but I wanted more piercings and I'm very happy that I did that and on the topic of piercings while I was also at Kmart I got these little pumpkin earrings oh I don't know if that's gonna focus like it's on the pumpkin yeah these little pumpkin earrings. Oh my god, it's really not wanting to focus. Anyway, I got these little pumpkin earrings. They're like quite heavy, but they've got little diamonds on them, and I think they're so cute. I got back clips. Back clips to go with my bad tattoo. I'm so excited about back clips. Look at this. this is Kmart's got some good freaking shit recently. And then, and then, and then, and then. Glittery skeleton. And they jingle. Now, if you can't tell, I really, really like earrings. I wear these cherry ones literally all the freaking time. They are my favorites. If you can't tell, I really like cherries. Um, and then. I did get these little like R.I.P. death earrings, but I cannot for the life of me find them. I wore them to work yesterday. I've not seen them since. And as well as that, I also got a new Kong toy for my dog because he buried his old one in the backyard and I can't find it. Little stinker. So, the main reason that I went out shopping was... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know I didn't mean I'm so sorry, baby girl. Yeah, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. She's fine. She's purring. She's coming down for a snuggle. I accidentally smacked her in the face with it. I got a large cork board. Now one might be asking, why I may. Did you feel the need to get a large cork board? For novel planning, I am up to the editing stage of the first half of my novel. I finished it, y'all. So, this right here is going to help me make sure that everything is correct. We are going to put all character names up here. We're going to put class schedules. We're going to put songs, concerts, anything that I need to make sure that my novel is time accurate is going here. That also means I'm printing out the first year of my novel physically to go through and edit. So that is what we're doing today. But also, I'm on limited time because as soon as my sibling wakes up, we are playing Cult of the Lamb together because I need that to happen. If you don't know what Cult of the Lamb is, it is the cutest little coffee game ever and we're playing it together and I am just obsessed. So... So sneaky sneaky got this little minion. My sibling hate like hates minions, hates it's like a you know that vine that's like every single time I look at this guy ah, and then she like rips that off the minion. I can't look <laughs> that is my sibling. I found this minion. Look at him. I'm gonna hide it in my sibling's room. And we're gonna update every single vlog. I'm just quickly going through and editing my printing document because I wasn't really happy with the margins. I'd already tried to print it and I wasn't happy with the margins and it printed wrong so we're starting from scratch. I'm also just going through and I am putting all the chapters on separate pages. Okay so I have formatted it correctly and how I want it printed. It's right here. 
Um, it's 122 pages. So I'm going to start printing it. I'm fucking nervous that I've done it wrong. Ah! But, 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 but. We will, we will just wait and see. It's printing. I'm nervous. But I'm really excited. Ah! Right now I know for a fact that you're going to be able to hear the printer in the background, so bear with me. I have bought these to go through my document because I didn't know that they had black highlighters and I literally was just going to buy a Sharpie. And then I saw somebody complaining about the fact that, like, what's the point of a black shot? Blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, for redacting information. So this is exactly what I needed. It also came with brown, grey, which is my favourite highlighter colour, and blue. So I'm going to figure out what these colours mean to me. Obviously black's going to be information that I no longer think is necessary or don't want. I don't know what these are going to be yet, but... This is some very intense stuff, guys. It is, in fact, printing correctly. I'm very, very happy about that. My printer is very, very shit and paper jams all the time. So very, very annoying. It's literally ancient. I got pizza. So I'm thinking while that's printing, I'm going to create a document with all the very, very important information about my characters so that I can get their profiles up on the board like a murder mystery. Woo. stopped recording so I don't know how long I've been talking to myself for but I'm just printing those now I'm so sad about that with the actual hell camera what a stinker so sad I need coffee so we're gonna go get coffee together coffee together coffee together coffee together the duty this stuff is the most dangerous stuff. It is lethally good. Lethally good. Alrighty. All vital information has been printed out. We have that, it like printed double sided the first time, I was so pissed off. Characters, tickets and band merch. Now, the most annoying and most tedious part. I have to put these into their segments, which is going to take a long time given that there is 242 approximately when I fold them in half. So, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to film it in all honesty, guys, because I'm just going to put the TV on and try and get it done. But I will film when I stitch them together. So, I might just time lapse it. Alrighty, this is it guys, this is only the first year, it's not fully written either, like I still have to edit, I have to go back, delete, add stuff in, I don't, I really 
really can't be bothered selling it. It's kind of. Maybe I should like. I should have gotten bigger bulldog clips in retrospect. Sorry, Robin's ranting in the background. I love. I love my hook. So this is she. I'm gonna have to like squish it for an hour, maybe. I might do that. Just trying to think where I can like. I have a bunch of DD books. Let's put it under the DD books. Welcome to the DD table. My family is pretty cool like that. Amazing. And I'm gonna leave that there for an hour while I do other stuff and charge the camera. Do you want to see something cute? I'm not gonna put it on the wall yet. I'm just gonna put everything up there and then I'm gonna run you guys through it. My sibling has awoken, so I'm gonna go play Cold of the Lamb. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, eyeballs not look too good. I am currently stitching everything together. Percy has come to say hi. For the first time ever, guys. Rah! Look at him. He's beautiful. He's the prettiest princess. Sewn the first three signatures together. I did not remember how long this was going to take me. For context, I studied photography in university, and there was a semester where we had to make a photo book, and we did like book binding classes. And I forgot how tedious. Book binding is like, hey, hey, hey. I'll check back in when I'm a bit further in. All right, so it's actually the next day. I just got back from the dentist, actually. But last night I did finish stitching together the first half of Sweet Cherry Pie. I actually did like a really freaking good job with the guys. That was like scary. I didn't think I was going to. Um, but also, what I've done is I'm not sure you can see. I'm trying to have different colored highlighters and I've just color coordinated them. So last night before I went to sleep I like started I'm not trying to find you a page because the first chapter has been edited so many times and it's been in existence for so long that I have like never really felt the need to like heavily edit that like it's not high on my priority list anymore. I'm just going through and I'm just editing my writing. It actually looks really really cool like I'm so proud of myself I didn't actually put the last signature in because it was only two pages and I didn't really want that to be like the supporting signature so I think I'm just gonna glue it into the back but not bad like I'm pretty proud of myself guys pretty proud of myself I also when I went out today went and bought um, two more cork boards so that I can continue to plan my novel better because I have my main cork board, which I actually, I might refilm it now because I didn't really like the run through that I did yesterday. I was a bit out of it yesterday. So, hold on. So, ta-da! We have up here, this is, it's set in America in the 80s, which I've probably specified in other videos, but for people that don't know, set in the, Ameri in the Americas, set in America in the 80s. I have the holidays and how long they last in America and then the two calendars for the years. I did realize that I'm gonna have to get a third year because it's like the class of 87 and 88 and the class of 88 and 89. Like I didn't realize that it was a gap year, kind of like how Harry Potter does it. <laughs> so we have the school calendars and dates. Down here, this is all of Baz's band shirts. And I'm gonna go through and write like how old he was when the concert happened, what year the concert was, and how much it would have cost him because that's just necessary for his backstory. Down in this little this little Ziploc bag down here, I have tickets from the shows that Baz and Cherry go to, essentially. Up here, we have, this is his the band that he's in. This is like, probably gonna blur this out because I don't want people stealing my band name because I freaking brainstormed for two years about it. This is really funny, actually. This is just um, the, the people from Lost Boys. So you have Keith Sutherland, and as I was watching that, and I was like, oh my god, like, he's so Garrett, like, he's so Billy, because that's Garrett and Billy. And then I was like, haha. And then they were stuck like that for the rest of time, as my face claims. We have Baz and Cherry over here, and then we have Uncle Jack and Uncle Adam. 
I love I love them both very very much. Then we have Cherry's friends, Brad and Francis, and her ex boyfriend I suppose you could say James and then this is Baz's battle jacket and this is just the cheerleading uniform for the school this is my mock-up of my book cover hold on this is kind of just one I did on Canva very lazily but it's pretty cool um, and then this is here so that I can whack my current draft up there and it's done but yeah so that is my other cork board I bought another one just because I really wanted to do, like flesh out my timeline because there's a lot that happens and a, a few different relationships that I need to track and of course like the concerts and making sure that all of that works and just the school year is really really hard for me to wrap my head around as someone from Australia so it's just yeah so I bought a cork board for that and then another one because I felt the need to buy it but yeah so that's what I'm doing I might read a bit more of this highlight and annotate a bit more there is a lot of rewrite and redacted stuff everywhere which is good because that's the whole point of editing right. know, I'm in a lot of pain talking really sucks right now I have to go get a, a temporary crown put on my tooth because I have to go back and get the real one done it's like back here it's like I got punched in the face it's not a very nice feeling in all honesty guys yeah I played Cold of the Lamb yesterday as well so the, the minion mission was a success as you saw from probably the three seconds of clip that I filmed doing that with my sibling I oh, had so many app changes this video I might just end it here yeah well I'll see you all next time happy reading bookworms and stay safe oh thanks for watching and please subscribe and like and leave a comment if you want to i'm happy to answer any questions or just chat happy reading